Hello farmers. When we last left Peter, we had added a dairy shed to his farm. And uh, just due to the number of requests I've had for a video on how to receive unlimited gifts, I thought we would take uh, this next video in the series and have Peter send himself unlimited gifts. Now, there's going to be two videos recorded, one in Google Chrome and one in Opera. The trick works the same in both Opera and in Google Chrome. It just looks a little bit different, so I'm going to record two different videos for the exact same thing. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to a gifting site, and I prefer to use Farmtown Gifts or ftowngifts.com. Uh, it's a very easy site to use. The first thing I want to explain to you is that you need to send a gift that you do not want. I recommend sending a consumable gift so that in case you accidentally receive that gift it's not something that you can't use. So uh, for this one we'll go ahead and send ourselves some freshwater bait and you just simply click down here it'll open a new tab and it brings you to the Facebook page for receiving a gift. This is not the Farm Town page and it's very important that you be on the Facebook page for receiving a gift. Go ahead and click here. Now we will right click, select inspect, and this brings up a bunch of code for the window. We're not going to worry about that. I've, I've had this come up on the right. Uh, some people it already comes up on the bottom but we're going to change it to the bottom by clicking on these three little dots and where it says dock side this middle one says dock to bottom so now it's moved down here on the bottom of the screen and we're going to select network once you've clicked on the network tab you will see no throttling and I've already added a setting for very slow but I'm going to go through the steps for you to do the same thing. We set add. Then we're going to add a custom profile. We're going to give the custom profile a name. Just very slow. Download, we want to be 30,000. So three plus four zeros. Upload, we want to be 30,000. Three plus four zeros. And the latency. Now the latency is basically the lag time. It's how long of a delay do we want. And this is the key to this trick. We want a really long delay. So uh, remember this is in milliseconds. So if you want one second, it's going to be 1,000. If you want 40 seconds, it's going to be 40,000. And for the purposes of what we're doing, we want to do 40,000 uh, as a, a good time uh, a good amount of time to delay. You can change that number at any point. Uh, you just simply go in uh, back into this menu and pull up the profile for very slow. Click on the, uh, the latency and change it. So uh, you can change it to any number but I do recommend that you use 40 seconds. Once you've got all that typed in you click on add. Once you see it there on your list just like mine we're going to close this window And now we can select from here, click on the no throttling, and we can now select very slow. The other thing I want to show you now that you've got that in is that we don't need this bottom portion of the window to be very big at all. So we're going to drag the window all the way down, and all we need to be able to see is this network here, and very slow or no throttling. And you just alternate back and forth between the two. That's all we're going to change in this area. So now when you come back to inspect, this will pop up down here as a very small window. And you can still see this upper area, uh, be able to see everything that, that's in this area. Now while we've got it set to very slow, anything that we click on up here is going to have that 40 second lag time. So it's going to be, uh, <laughs> it's really going to be slow. As you see, we sent ourselves a freshwater bait. This trick does not work if we trade a freshwater bait for a freshwater bait. It will not work. So you have to change it to something different. We'll select a fuel tank and you can see that it's loading very slowly. Uh, nothing is really going to happen. 
I want you to notice this box. It's a light blue color and it's around the word fuel tank. I'm going to click in the white area and you see the box go away. Double click to get the box back around and there it is again. Again we click away, click back on it and you can see the box. Okay so once we can see the blue box around the GIF that we've changed it to, we're going to press the tab key and it will move a box around the exchange. Now do not click anywhere because we're actually going to use the keyboard to send multiple GIFs. And we're going to press, once we know that the blue box is around the exchange, you can press and hold the enter key. Right now, I'm going to hit the shift plus tab and move the blue box around the fuel tank. Then the tab key moves the box around the exchange, back to the fuel tank, back to the exchange. And you can just go tab, shift tab, until you can actually see this box moving back and forth. Once you're certain that the blue box is around the exchange key, you press and hold enter. Now enter, when you hold it down, just goes over and over and over and over. So it's going to be hitting the exchange button at a rate of about 25 enters per second or 25 gifts per second. So if I press and hold the enter key for 10 seconds, then I will get about 250 gifts. Now I still have Farmtown open in another tab. And this is going to be important because I'm going to send myself more gifts than the gift box can hold. It's going to be very important to load Farmtown, receive the gifts while they're coming in. So again, I've clicked twice around this box. I've got my blue box on, on the outside. I press tab. My blue box is now around the exchange button. And I'm going to press and hold enter starting now. Alright, so that was about 10 seconds of holding the enter key down, and I want you to pay attention to this uh, little refresh circle up here. See how slow it's going? Now I'm going to go down to the bottom, and I'm going to click on the very slow, and I'm going to change it to no throttling. So I want you to look back up to the top, and when I change it to no throttling, you're going to see that start spinning really quickly. I'm going to change it now. All right, now it is actually sending gifts. Each time it, it pops, uh, that's another gift that it's sending to Farm Town. So I'm going to go over to my Facebook tab. I'm going to reload the game. And I am not going to edit this video because I want you to see how this tab is reloading constantly because it's sending gift after gift after gift. And you can see I have 69 gifts in my box. So I store those. And again, it's still sending me gifts while I do this. Close my gift. Reload the farm. Again, you can still see at the top it's still sending gifts. And you'll see it when it stops. It'll stop spinning here in just a minute because we only sent about 250. So I just click on my gifts, store, and I had 88 that time. Go ahead and reload again. Again, we're not editing the video because I want you to be able to watch live time and see how this continues to run. Go into my gift box, store ingredients. I got 78 that round. Now it stopped spinning at this point, so it's no longer sending me new gifts. Reload one more time. Store ingredients, and we got 28 that time. So now if I go to my storage, you can see that I had 263 gifts, and that was from holding the enter key down about 12 seconds.
So that is how you send yourself unlimited gifts. The longer that you press and hold the enter key, the more gifts you're going to get. And since we have it set to a 40 second timer, if you press and hold enter the entire time, you're going to get approximately a thousand gifts, which means you're going to need to reload the game at least 10 times in order for your gift box to not get full and you can store those gifts and continue to receive new ones. My personal record thus far is 4,276 gifts and it took me about 30 minutes worth of reloading to get those 4,276 gifts off of one single exchange exactly how I just showed you.